Andreas Giorgio for MMA Plus UFC London Fight Week. Tom Breeze, we're a few days out now from your return fight, your uh, new weight class. You're fighting at middleweight for the first time, moving up from 170 pounds against Bambose. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk. Are we going to see a new Tom Breeze? How's he going to fare in a new division? Do you feel like those questions are warranted with it being such a different setting for you? Um, yeah, I suppose. Uh... I think every time you fight someone different, there's, a, there's new questions anyway, you know, so, um, yeah, it is what it is, I'm, I'm not really thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're looking a lot more comfortable, though. I, I remember seeing you the last time out, I think it was the key to Nakamura fight, which was London last year, and you, you were cutting to 170 at that point, yeah. and for you, you walk around around the light heavyweight weight, yeah. and you were saying it was difficult, and even from then, you were mentioning, look, in the future, I will be moving up weight classes. How have you found the transition? Are you enjoying it a bit of a, an easier weight cut? Yeah, it's a lot less stressful, you know, um, you know, making the weights more comfortable, fueling my body more, especially during camp, so, yeah, much better. Yeah. Did you, did you expect it to be, you know, better? Because obviously there's a mindset there that, look, I have to move up because that was factoring in the performance against Sean Strickland. Yeah, I definitely felt it was a, was a factor. Um, I think it's a, a mental factor as well, you know, I feel when you're cutting loads of weight and, you know, you're not feeling that good, it's... Uh, Makes you think negative a lot as well, I find. So it was it was a mental aspect as well against Strickland, yeah? definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And why, why was that? Where did that stem from? Because you've always come across as a really confident, chillax guy. I don't know. Like, not, not, I don't feel like... I just... When you cut weight, it makes you negative, And it just... You, more stress. And I felt like the stress and the negative, you know, negativity from cutting weight it just made me a bit more drained, mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah, so it, was, it wasn't just a drained body. It was a drained mind yeah, as well. Exactly, yeah, exactly. From the weight cutting. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know, you are at a new weight class now. A lot of eyes, a lot of eyes on, it's kind of like Tom Breeze 2.0, a, a little bit really. People looking at you from what, you know, and what you did at welterweight wasn't bad by any means. It was one loss against Sean Strickland. Reflecting on the loss to Sean, do you feel that, you know, realistically factors were different there? Uh, you know, you could have taken that fight and then you could have carried on at welterweight or do you, was that loss what you needed to kind of quickly boost the move up to the middleweight division? Um... Like, if I watched the fight back, and at the time, it didn't really feel like a loss. None, like, he didn't beat me. Mm. I didn't beat him. None of us took control of the fight. Mm. Yeah, he was pushing forward, throwing jabs and that, but he didn't have no power in his shots. Never hurt me. So it never felt like a loss. It was just a good experience. Um, got three rounds in, in, you know, in a first pay-per-view fight, you know, so it was a mm. uh, good experience. And, um, yeah, I think may maybe if I... Um, if I'd won that fight, you might see me fighting at Waterway because yeah. you know I would have had a like Strickland now. He's fighting Usman, mm -hmm. who's uh, top twelve. I yeah, think yeah, he might yeah, be. So, rankings, yeah. so it's a good opportunity for Strickland. So I might have stayed at the weight class, but you know after that I just decided to move up and I just thought you know got nothing to lose. I don't know about you. You might be able to shed some light on this, but it feels like the last two performances and against Nakamura as well. Even you admitted you know what it wasn't the best on its day. Was that to do with the weight cut, or was it to do with TriStar and adapting to that new style? Um, it's hard to say. I think it's just, uh, you know, train, the way you train for fights, and you know, obviously, I, f I fought good opponents, so, mm. um, and I'm, I was, I was very exper inexperienced compared mm. to those two. I mean, Nakamura's had plus forty fights mm. compared to I was nine and zero at the time, <laughs> and uh, Strickland's eighteen and one. You know, so mm. they're both experienced guys, and you know it's tough, tough fights where I, I learnt uh, a lot of lessons from. Um, I feel like I figured out, you know, a way to train to get the best out of me, uh, and I've had a great training camp. So mm. you know, it's it, every, every fight's trial and error. <laughs> uh, you know, so see how this one goes on Saturday. Of course, first one back at UTC, if I'm right, full time anyway. Yeah, um, I train at UTC. Mm. Uh, go there a few times a week, also train and teach out of Renegade Jiu Jitsu in Birmingham, so there a lot, and then I train my boxing coach a lot, so I was going up to the uh, English Institute of Sport, spar with uh, the Team GB boxers during this camp and stuff, so good camp. That's the one thing that everyone's always talked about from the beginning of your career, from the Bama and the Cage Royce days, is that Tom Breeze doesn't just train mixed martial arts, you go and you, you work on your Jiu Jitsu with the best practitioners yeah. in this country, you do the same with boxers as well. What is it about that mentality where you've always want? Because you've always wanted to do it. it. Hasn't been like you've been told to do that. It's what you've enjoyed doing. Yeah, like I have, I have a huge passion for boxing and a huge passion for for jiu jitsu. Um, that's and, and that's like 
that's kind of why I do MMA. Like I can't just do boxing because I like mm. jujitsu too much, <laughs> and I can't just box because, yeah. um, you know, vice versa, or whatever. And uh, yeah, and then like it's I can go and train with these best boxers, and I'm like always trying to compare <laughs> myself to these guys, and yeah. you know, I feel like I've always got someone like something pushing me to get better. And same with the jiu-jitsu guys, mm. like you know, in in England, and also when I compete. And, and when I go to Henzo's, mm-hmm. I've got the best guys in the world pushing me, so it just makes me hungry. Yeah. For you, is the plan to stay in Birmingham now? Are you going to go back to TriStar at some point? I know you recently married as well yeah. to a Canadian, lovely Canadian wife of yours. You know, where, where's the plan? Where's, where's the location for Tom Breeze? No, I'm, I'm staying in Birmingham now. Mm-hmm. I decided uh, I'm going to settle, settle down. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to settle down and just, uh, just enjoy my life. You know, I still like, I'll, I'll, go, to, I'll go to New York for training camps and stuff, mm-hmm. but... You know, Birmingham's where I'm going to base myself and, you know, just keep my head down. <laughs> 25, right? I'm 25, yeah. yeah. We, we were kind of talking about this. Um, I've, I've spoken to Joe Duffy about this as well. And it, it's crazy because, look, I know the UFC only comes to London, specifically to England, once a year. We've got Glasgow just announced for July. But it seems like because it's so limited, the, the stock really fluctuates with the British guys. Joe, they were pushing him to the moon, then he lost to Dustin Poirier and it fell off and it felt like the same for you when you, you lost to Strickland you know you were being built up you were on a pay-per-view card mm-hmm. you know is it frustrating for, for athletes for yourself and you know Duffy as well mentioned it that it's just a bit inconsistent and especially with the new owners and stuff about the kind of athletes that they do push different times in their career if they lose it's kind of like oh, oh well yeah I just think that's the, that's the way the sport is really I mean you know if, if you're undefeated people want to watch you if you've taken a loss, people aren't as interested. So, you know, it's the entertainment business and uh, the UFC have to entertain the fans and if the fighters ain't, ain't winning or, you know, or talking or doing something, then, you know, you're going to be at the bottom of the cards. So, yeah. it's one of them things. Part of the parcel. Part, definitely part of the parcel. Yeah. Really interesting for you now because you are a middleweight and there are two guys in the middleweight division. One who's British, of course, Michael Bisping. Mm-hmm. He, he holds uh, the title belt. And then this GSP, the man from Tristar that you, you've trained with so many times. I know that you and GSP have a, a very good training relationship. You're, you're in the same division as him now. You know, one day, potentially, either of those fights could happen. Where do you stand on potentially having to fight either Michael or having to fight GSP in the future? Um, I haven't really thought about it because uh, I'm just taking it one fight at a time, really. Um, you know, I feel like those guys probably don't even have many, might, might only have two yeah. fights left in their career anyway, so I'm a long way away from that, so I don't really feel like there's any, any need for me to start to speaking about them, especially when I have a fight the weekend that I have to win, so, mm. yeah. Yeah, just quickly on the fight this weekend with, with Bambos, you know, stylistically he likes to come forward and that's where his issue is because he's very aggressive and he leaves himself open. Is that something you've been looking at? Is that something you feel like you can exploit, especially with your, your relaxed approach with that, picking your, picking your shots? Yeah, um, he he brings a uh, a high pace style from the start of the fight. Um, you know, even his personality is high energy guy. So uh, I think that translates into his fighting style. So it'd be an entertaining fight. Uh, I feel I'm well prepared for the fight, and uh, you know I'm looking to get another win on uh, on Saturday.